So it is no secret to anyone that I completely and utterly flopped at Project Pan this year. And I'm not here to make excuses and justify why, but I do owe you guys like a little bit of an explanation because it's a series I frankly absolutely love. I love the feeling of making progress, meeting a goal, emptying things out, my makeup, and kind of getting through it, and not just like mindlessly throwing things away because I no longer use them, but getting back into them and rediscovering them and being a part of like the Project Pan community because I think it is a beautiful, wonderful thing and I'm very sad that I kind of fell out of it this year. Just to kind of explain why and why I'm going to do so much better next year. So first and foremost, this is probably like the most obvious thing is that I moved so during all of that I just was like putting things that I had emptied up in this big bag that I was like okay I'm gonna show this and be like this is what I emptied this is what I use and to like talk about them um but in the midst of moving those things got kind of like shoved into a bag whatever and then when I was thinking about it I'm like okay where I'm moving is not going to be my permanent long-term situation. Like, where I am now is definitely, like, an in-between kind of thing. Like, yes, I am going to be moving from here. And I didn't feel comfortable bringing a bag of, like, recyclables, empties, and essentially to someone else, like, trash into their home just to then talk about it on YouTube because even then, like, I am at a point now where I feel comfortable filming, but for the first, like, few weeks, months even, like, I wasn't even comfortable filming. So I was gonna have a bag of trash sitting around, not using it, not feel, and just, like, like, someone was gonna throw that out, you know what I mean? And I just didn't feel comfortable bringing it. Also, moving is just, like, chaos in and of itself, so there is not really like a good time for me to like sit down and be like okay this is everything that I've emptied out um like on top of the fact that it would be trash coming into someone else's home I just was like emptying out so many things that it was also kind of hard to keep track of at that point because I had my skincare project pan I had my makeup and then I just had like regular body care other kind of things that I was just emptying out because I was using it so that kind of played into it where like I was getting confused it was a little unorganized with like what was really part of project pan what wasn't what do I need to hang on to I do hang on to everything and like dispose of it you know responsibly I don't just throw it away it all gets like recycled somewhere but to that point I was just like confused with what all was in there so moving was definitely a big one in terms of like time constraint not feeling comfortable literally just moving like I said very chaotic and then here is where I think I went really wrong with this year's project pan and it's funny because it was something I was the most excited about and that is incorporating skincare into my project pan now project pan essentially is when you hit pan on your makeup products and truthfully i was like i don't really want to be responsible for like owning that much makeup and then feeling like i have to empty it out when i really should have just kept it the makeup because the whole point of project pan is to empty it out but i was like you know what i'm really into skincare i want to incorporate that and the thing with skincare, at least for me, is like I'm using it twice a day every day. Makeup, like I might use it twice a week, you know? So it's more for Project Pan purpose, like to dedicate your time to makeup because that's not something you're always using like day in and day out. Versus skincare, I found myself going through things like incredibly quickly, which I didn't anticipate. And then it felt like I had nothing to kind of talk about with my next video. And then on top of that, I was choosing products that were already almost empty which is like not the point of project pan at all like yes it's nice to be mindful to empty out products but the way i was approaching it was kind of like what empties can i show and like that's a whole different thing like i should have just done like an empties video like i've done in the past and kept the makeup and the skincare separate which i've done before but i don't know i was just like really excited to put in skincare with the project pan and i think that's kind of like what played into like it being a flop like I was just disorganized there was so much that I had to keep track of so many things I was emptying out which is like again great that I'm emptying them out but not the point of project pan like I just went and rewatched the like the video and like kind of like flipped through it really quickly I only had two makeup products in the whole thing normally like I'd have 10 for a year so big red flag right there and now I'm kind of like digesting and realizing like that maybe was not the best way to go about it this year so lastly beyond moving i switched careers and jobs within 
the span of a few months this year so i went from managing a gymnastics center to getting into consumer goods and then from there after being there for like a few months pivoting again back like into apparel and fashion so now i'm in the fashion industry like apparel industry which is great it's what i want to do all along but at the same time, like learning the ropes of one highly stressful job, like managing is not for the week, you guys. Like you are responsible for every little thing, especially the company that I was managing for. Like you are responsible for everything. And I mean literally everything from like cleaning the toilets to running credit cards to having members sign up, like everything. So it was really stressful. Moving out of that was good for me. But then I moved into a job that I hated to be quite frank i hated the environment the job itself wasn't bad but i definitely wasn't being trained or like learning anything and then i was just kind of like sticking it out and that was like sucking a lot of joy from my life i feel like you could probably tell from that like february to may kind of section of my videos maybe i just wasn't the same version of myself um and then finally switching into apparel and i absolutely love it but it was a really big learning curve and I got hired for one job and then a month after picked up more responsibilities and kind of like had a change in title essentially. Sorry, my camera just died. Lots of, lots of career shifting happened in 2024 for me for the best, I will say. Like definitely when it rains it pours, but I'm really glad of like where I am in life now and I'm really proud of myself for kind of like taking the leap. But again, like Project Pan suffered because of that, let's just be honest. Life was lifing but i'm not gonna leave you guys hanging i am gonna update you on some of the items that i was panning so for the most part all of the skincare i realized was either a expired like the oat cleansing balm very expired hurt my face did not like it still tried to use it though hated the tacky feeling it was like gunky like i just couldn't even use it and then pretty much everything else i panned and the only thing that i think i still have left is like the oil like the purple bottle that's like the only thing that i still have left to pan or like empty out but i'm not going to be incorporating that in a project pan video i do have the two only makeup items that i mentioned in that video so the first one is the wet n wild black pencil eyeliner i won't lie to you i got this to kind of be follow a trend a makeup trend but i just realized i'm not super experimental with my makeup when it comes to that kind of stuff i just like stick to my everyday daily kind of routine and that's that so i do use this on my tight line though or sometimes on the outer edges of my waterline kind of like i have today but i try not to use too much of this just because i do have like bags and like purple under eyes so this can really exaggerate that and not in a cute sexy flattering way so if anything i'll use this on my tight line it really helps make my lashes look really full and then i'll add powder on top so it doesn't transfer so much but i would say i've used an okay bit of this since then i've sharpened it like a few times nothing crazy i don't think i'm gonna like finish this up anytime soon but it is a good little pencil to have for like halloween or costumes like literally drawing whiskers on or just like having as like a smoky eye kind of like base you can smudge out so yeah that's that there's really nothing to say here but the one thing i have been keeping up with and i actually completely forgot was in my project pan is the tartlet and bloom palette i use it today i've been using it basically daily and i have hit pan on one more shade that would be charmer right here at the bottom i'm gonna cover the mirror so no one gets like blinded and i have worked through a lot of the shade flower child because i use that as my base shade the other two that are probably most popular are smarty pants here that is what i use as like my crease kind of shade and then jet setter here that's more my outer corner kind of shade and then i will use smoke show like i did today just like as a powder wing liner so i have made some progress in this unfortunately not much that i've documented throughout the months but what can i say i just thought i'd give you guys like the little update that i can everything else is either like emptied out or it got recycled rest assured i will be coming back next year with project pan full swing only makeup products unless there's like a skincare thing that i just like can't get through but that's not really the case with me i'm much more of like a healthy skin skincare girly than i am a makeup girly and you know what this was just a learning curve 
part of the process but like I said next year we're gonna do better and I'm gonna stick with my project pan all throughout even if I'm moving even if I switch jobs and see it all the way through because I am a little disappointed that I didn't have like a full year to reflect on because that was like my favorite part was being like oh my god this is what I started with like I used up a full tube of lipstick like crazy stuff like that it was really exciting to just like see progress so next year this is gonna be our year I promise if you guys have made it to this part of the video I want you to comment down below the artist color palette paint palette just so I know that you got all the way to this part there's gonna be a video at the end of this one recommended just for you that you should check out see what it is along with a playlist don't forget to like this video if you're excited for project pan and subscribe so you can see when it comes out like comment subscribe do all the good things don't forget to be kind to yourself, others, and the planet, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.